Welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your chair for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Happiness is a choice, not a result. Nothing will make you happy until you choose to be happy. Well, go on, my people. Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. Stop doubting yourself. Work hard and make it happen. Mr. People, one only person thing I got on the news. And Mr. Saint catch it hot like fire. Mr. People, I didn't want to play a bond down. I don't feel like a joke there, so I can start the news right as so. The PMP office in South East St. Catherine was set ablaze Monday night. The PMP standard bearer for the seat, Dr. Alfred Dawes, confirmed the fire was again set to the office. Mr. People, Alfred Dawes got stop and stop until then get rid of me now. Alfred make sure jump out and say, yo, I don't have nothing to do with it. And Big Rabba keep feeling more quiet, you understand? JLP said they not mix up in a PMP business. Anyway, now people watch your guard power go on. Me tell the Spanish town at man gone down on Brunswick Avenue in Spanish town. Look at that, people are dead. A man was fatally shot on Brownsville Avenue in St. Catherine this morning. Resident reported a loud explosion about 5.30 and called the police. On arrival, lawmen discovered the body of a man lying in blood with gunshot wounds. And guess what, people? They don't speak up on camp because the hospital they understand that she part ice. The cause of the shooting is yet to be ascertained. The deceased has not yet been identified. As soon as we get the name, me and me couldn't know. Well, and then now, people can look how things happen quick and fast. Remember, you said, I'm come and I go so boom. I'm telling you what I go on over Central Village. Look at this now. Gunmen in Windsor at Central Village flee from police, leaving an AK-47 rifle behind. Yes, people. Ah, so that happened last night. You know now I come and say, my view, I have a gun. Because I know I'm mostly out there. Well, and then, no, man, I never run till you understand. A killer red's gun. Yes, people, a killer red's gun. The same killer red's for the people that remember what house I look for. I'm a matter of fact. He left Waterhouse and come right in a central village and give holy heap of holy heap of holy heap of trouble. I don't know why them not slap him, man. I don't know why the police them never tried shoot at five last time to the big idiot police them. See the boy around and not even one shot they beat. I tell me, I tell them come with the other people. But hold on there. I don't wonder why I'm with the other though. I don't know supposed to say, what might you really do out of central village in the night which part of gunman there? Hold on a bit. Hold on a bit. I got something for you all. I remember me always tell you, so me get it, so me a go on it. Hey, my view. I heard a vlog you did pertaining to Central Village. I have further information on some of what was said in regards to Donardo James. They are fabricating stories and telling lies on the youth all because they want to get him out. Elbow men killed Donardo's dad and because he won't be their footstool they are telling lies on him. Police went for him the other day and let him out because they had no case. The men from Elbow are the aggressors, they think they should have control and run everywhere because them think them a god. Same system the gunmen over square uses is the same system they are using on the people here in Compound. Before you post stuff about raping and beating, you must go to the community and ask some of the older people. We all know when people cannot hurt someone they tell lies to have police kill them. Corey Rowe is the main problem in Elbow. The information they gave about Gaffa buying guns are pure lies. They are the ones importing guns and gunmen to hurt people. They have their sources overseas that are supplying them with guns. Tommy, Bladder and Christopher Miller that has the big house over Elbow are their main overseas suppliers. The other day Bladder kept competition and left money to buy bullets. Corey got deported and came back here with his fuckery. He is also taking set on Chinatown. They think they are the only ones who should keep parties and whenever anybody else does it, they keep up the madness and fire a bag of shots. Killer Reds is Corey right hand man. He is from Elbow but he is controlling part of Square, the same area where they were killing out the young youths. He is originally from Waterhouse and they imported him to come create havoc. Whenever anything is keeping, he has all sort of gunmen over his yard, they had a party recently where police killed a man who had a gun on him. They are saying peace, but they are keeping parties with lone gunmen in them and that is why the people are scared. How is that they are saying they are getting beaten to go elbow when most of them have women from down there? They also said to get rid of Colorado, is he dead? 
He is up there same way, and just look how much innocent youth him kill. A them say, one team, one elbow. Them alone want to run place, and all of us gonna die leave it. Please let it be known, that Cory wants to run the whole village and Badmind is killing him. Lone problem from he got deported, he just have all the young youths bleaching with him at nights. Them send out information to you acting like Colorado is dead. Him and them cannot get along because him not going under Cory law. Let it be known, Colorado will never take talk from Cory, that is why they keep calling up his name and trying to set him up. AK Man and JT switch from China a fire shot for elbow and that's what caused the rivalry between them and Chinatown. Big war out to take off. They even have wanted man up there, the one that named Taliban that run off a murder case. Member, member, good me they come and tell me, say, yo, me not deal with mix up, you understand, and there's always more than one side to end this story. So anyway, now, people, watch your one power, walk one. Them go so boom, and roll out the AI technology. So them say, watch your man. They are seeking the public assistance in finding a woman they believe can assist with information in relation to the death of the little girl. Yes, people. And the chat GPT do this in the people. They must say, a woman, this look like one little boy. But anyway. I can go on and go to some more news here, yeah, man. We still there, St. Catherine. This news today is only about St. Catherine. So, I'm going to go to some boom. I'm going to go to the courthouse calling my bridging. I'm going to talk to Peter Bagchus. I'm going to talk to Peter Champagne. You understand? And he's calling for the death penalty to be invoked on the killer of 8 year old Daniel Rowe. Yes, people. That's how Peter Champagne said. Peter Bagchus said, I want something different. Let me start from the point of view as a defense lawyer. And I am a firm believer in the right to a fair hearing, the right to due process. No doubt about those two things. They must obtain, even in cases such as these. But where you have that being done and the process is exhausted, and at the end of it, you have a conviction still standing in the circumstances of, of young Miss Rose's situation, that individual is deserving of the death penalty. As it is now, the common law, the case law, as they refer to it, doesn't make it easy to invoke the death penalty. It is reserved for the worst of the worst cases. So we need to revisit it where it is easy to invoke the death penalty because I think we have come to a situation where all we have each time when this thing happens, platitudes upon platitude, remonstration and remonstration, and then after nine days, it's on to the next story. And the time has come for we, to, as a nation, say that persons who are convicted of this most horrible crime have forfeited their lives to exist amongst us. And I stand by that. I may be unpopular for saying so, but that is my firm belief. What say you, 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 and you? I'm going to tell you me if you're still in a people, you understand? Because I don't really agree with Peter Champagne. Yeah, man, I don't really agree with Peter Champagne. Waste, we're going to waste time and carry them in front of judge and jury. You know, freight right there, 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 so you understand? Anybody at all do this little thing, yeah? we need to angle them, bangle. Right away, same place. Nobody carry them go face nobody. Me I tell you the truth. Anyway, now people, wicked man Chris time. Yeah man, wicked man Chris say yo. My view, tell the people them to stop listen to rumor because people have spread rumor. And I said this and I said that, and it is far from the truth. You know what people? May I keep back and wait for the truth. But anyway, wicked man Chris. Dilemma has once again shown us how desperately wicked the hearts of men have become. We the, the This dilemma has once again shown us how desperately wicked the hearts of men have become. We the police condemn the gruesome act of snatching the life of an innocent eight-year-old child. We want to assure the family and the nation that we will we will not stop until we unlock this case and bring the perpetrators to justice. We have seen a number of things being circulated on social media with various interpretations and accusations about this case in particular. I'm hereby making an appeal to the public. This is from this practice and to allow the investigative process to unearth the truth. I want to reassure you, the constabulary force, your police force, has more than enough competent investigators who are equipped to handle cases of this nature.